say they're present so we can make. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'd like everyone to uh, say they're present, make sure we can hear and see everybody. Eugene? Present. Bob? Here. Farah? Here. Okay, and we hope Lee will come in shortly. <clears throat> um, I don't know that there are any changes or additions to the agenda. There's none that I know of. Is there anything, Sharon? No. Okay. Um, the, uh, I need a motion to approve the minutes. I move to approve the minutes. Second. Second. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any uh, changes or additions to the minutes? Yeah. Um, we need to add Jedi from the list of committees. Okay. Where should we add that? But that's a subcommittee of the PPP, right? That was my so understanding. It, yeah, so. Um, so would you like a 5.1.4.1 Jedi, <laughs> Eugene? Um, I, I'm, I'm doing the same formatting as you did last time. So it's the one dot a dot Roman numeral. Does that make any sense to you? I'm looking at the minutes from January 4th. Yes. Oh, you, it's, I'm sorry. You, I, I misunderstood. You want to add something to the prior minutes. Okay. Yeah. I, and so does it make sense that I go 5.1.4.1 and then mm -hmm. add Jedi? Yeah, you should just be able to hit, hopefully, return, and the formatting should automatically add the sub-bullet. Oh, yeah. Or no, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you how to use Word. I got oh, that. Okay. <laughs> so I want, I want to make sure you're okay with that format. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any other suggestions or additions? Okay. Um, uh, proving the minutes. Um, Eugene? Eugene? <laughs> yes. To prove your minutes from January. Bob? I'm approving. Yes. Farah? Yes. And Lee? Yes, I thought they were splendid. <laughs> Go Thank you. you. Okay. The meeting uh, minutes approved. Okay, the next thing on the agenda, um, Lee, Austin is unable to come, so that's why I'm running the meeting. I was inferring um, that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm always Public happy to see you, Tammy. Oh, thank you, Lee. I'm happy to see you too. Okay. Um, public comment. Sharon, can you see so, if there's anyone who... Yeah, so we have two attendees, and if either one of you would like uh, to raise your virtual hand, uh, you can do that, and I'll let you into the room, and you can give public comment. Nothing. Okay, thank you. Um, under the president's report, Austin had the trustee meeting schedule, which Sharon had sent out. Um, and I assume everyone got back to her. Do you, do we want to give the dates? Sure. So it's 9 a.m. for all these dates. We have February 12th, March 25th, April 8th, May 13th, and June 10th. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, the bylaws. Now, apparently, Bob, you wanted this put on the agenda. Do you have comments about the bylaws? Yes. I thought that there were a number of places where either I was confused or it was out of date. Um, for example, on page one, article three, section two, it says, the Board of Trustees is authorized to fill by election until the close of the next annual meeting. A vacancy in any of the offices except that of president provided for in this article. And I was wondering, I don't understand why we would not be able to fill 
presidency unless there is an automatic vice president becomes the president. Well, well Sharon, why don't do we, uh, I would, I would need time to look at it. Why don't we send this to PPP along with any other questions you have? That would be fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, page two, article four, section six, third line, the word town of Am Amherst, the, the word town should have a cap. Article of uh, section seven of the same article, second line, um, no S on employment. condition of employment. Um, these are not major issues. I just thought we should clean them up if we could. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking to see whether there was anything else, and I don't think so. Okay, so we will um, take your comments and suggestions and discuss them in PPP and bring them back to the board for consideration. Okay, okay thank you. Mm -hmm. um, committee reports. Uh, Library Building Committee. Uh, Sharon, do you want to give that report? Yeah, sure. Um, and I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, so we will be appearing in the central register this week, inviting people to general contractors and, and sub bidders to bid on our project. Really, really exciting. Um, and as far as the schedule goes, we will... We will have a walkthrough scheduled for potential bidders, either on on February 1st or February 6th. Um, and it will not be required, but highly recommended. Uh, sub bids are gonna be due February 21st. General contractor bids will be due March 6th. Uh, and then we would, an award, we would award a contract with a general contractor after that. And then, you know, there's, there's time in between and lawyers are involved and, and all of that before a contract is executed and then, and then they're given a notice to proceed. Um, we are in discussions with uh, interim locations and that's all I can say right now, um, but we hope to have exciting news within the next couple of weeks. Um, and we are also having discussions with the butters over easements. And so I also hope to have exciting news in the next couple of weeks. I'll, I'll let you know when we can. Um, the, the building committee itself, the, the makeup of it, the membership is, is being updated uh, because of the trustee and the town council elections. There will be some members changing. Um, so that'll happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, and what else can I say? I think that's pretty much my update. Do you guys have questions? May I ask if you're pleased with the options for interim spaces? Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave Thank it at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Any other comments for uh, questions for Sharon? who's substituting for the building committee report. Okay, I see none. Um, we'll move to the building and facilities committee. Farah? Bob's got a question. Okay. Um, oh, Bob, sorry. I'm sorry. Going back to what I had started with, which was the bylaws, there was, in addition to that, a board of trustees, officers, boards, and committees list which is not part of the bylaws, but I couldn't find any way to, to talk about it last time we met. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
So um, there were a couple of corrections that I would do to that if I could. Okay. Okay. Um, under, uh, well, page two, town boards and committees, number three, budget coordinating group. At the bottom of the page, there is an NB note. Uh, <clears throat> it would probably- Excuse me, I'm not sure. You're on page two of the board of trustees of the bylaws. You, you no. don't have it in front of you right now. It wasn't included in this packet. I see, okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just be pretty quick about it. On page two of that listing, there is a reference to the following fiscal year's budget during the autumn. And in fact, the fiscal year budget is done during the winter rather than during the autumn. Um, on page three, under personnel board, under purposes, which is the next to last paragraph, there's a reference to recommendations to the select board. And I hope that we are not still making recommendations to the select board. Um, <coughs> well, we don't have that piece of paper. I assume Sharon, you have it. I don't have it in front of me. I'm taking notes and I'll, I'll bring it to PPP. Okay. okay um, and then in page four, um, there's a description of, of the Amherst Historical Commission, um, which is all about, um, we make presentations about requested library preservation projects. Um, <clears throat> probably we need to uh, have some more discussion of things that we do that, uh, there, which requires their agreement. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and the last line of that and of the CPA committee um, has to do with the prioritization of our requests and I'm not sure that's the right wording for that. So uh, uh, have seeing as we, we, nobody on the board right now has a copy of what you're referring to. So yeah, I, I would like to suggest that you, you annotate your copy mm -hmm. and forward it to Sharon. Yeah, I'll and do so that, that the PPP can consider it. Thank you, because I mean, we're, okay. we're not looking at That's what fine. you're looking at, so it's kind of hard for us to understand the the suggestions you're making. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, okay. Any other comments um, on the bylaws or anything related to them? Okay, the PPP will take it up at their meeting. Um. Uh, we'll move to Afara, uh, building and facilities, please. We we didn't meet this month. We're meeting in on in okay. February because there was nothing to meet about, and okay. um, so there's nothing to report. Okay. okay. Thank you. I would ask one um, question. Yes. I would, yes. And that is. Um, was there anything done at the library with respect to Martin Luther King birthday? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask the staff. Okay. okay. Um, Lee, would you be willing to make a, a report on the annual fund? And the capital campaign. Suppose please. I said I was not willing to I mean, No, of course I'm willing. All right. <laughs> so for the annual fund as of January 1st, because we are still in January, um, uh, the annual fund had taken in seventy nine thousand five hundred and forty seventy yeah, seventy nine thousand five hundred and forty one dollars and fifty five cents. Uh, from 
438 gifts. And the capital campaign had taken in, hang on, had taken in uh, 239,868 dollars for the month. That's my report. And regarding the uh, capital campaign, we are on the way towards transferring three hundred thousand dollars from you know prior Van Steenberg and estates and things like that. So two hundred and forty eight thousand nine hundred and sixty eight dollars and thirty seven cents is now in the town's accounts that that was transferred electronically technology is awesome yes. and then we're still waiting for another chunk of money that will be that'll go from vanguard directly to the town right. and that amount is fifty one thousand thirty one dollars and sixty three cents right. and that will total the three hundred thousand right. yay and, and there will be Wonderful. obviously additional monies from the funds that did not go through the library, but came through the friends. I don't have that number in front of me, but it's it's over three hundred thousand. It's anyway. If I didn't realize, I I did not have that prepared for today, but you'll know it by next month because we will have transferred it. Wonderful. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to change hats. Personnel planning and policy. Um, we have a draft of the um, library director annual goals for FY24, um, which PPP approved at its January meeting. So I don't know, do we need a motion to accept? I mean, I, as a committee chair, I move that the board accept these goals. Second. Oh, second. Thank you, Lee. All right. Um, um, Sharon worked at these. We we went over them and changed a few things um, at our PPP meeting. So, um, are there any comments, suggestions on her goals? No. Okay, no, no comments, suggestions? Okay, so can we vote to approve the library director's goals? Um, you, Jean? Approve. Bob? Yes. Farah? Yes. Lee? Yes. And I approve. Thank you very much. Okay, the next report is the budget report. Bob? <clears throat> we did meet, but I do not have a report for it. Um, we are basically uh, continuing to uh, receive money and spend money. Uh, I had asked some questions, which um, I guess I will get answers for at some point, but I don't have them yet. Okay, so there's nothing on the FY25 budget request. Is that in process? It will be. It's not yet. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, Bob Investment, change hats. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, um, we are uh, having a virtual meeting with Dan Voss of Vanguard um, in a couple of days on the 25th <clears throat> because Vanguard has sold the, uh, the advisory group which, with which we work, the, and which Dan Voss is a member of, um, to Mercer. Um, apparently because Mercer has a large operation uh, for for-profit organizations, but did not have a strong operation for nonprofits. 
Vanguard did have such an operation. And so um, the entire Vanguard Institutional Advisory Service um, will become a part of Mercer um, in the middle of February. So we have to make a decision as to whether or not we will continue with them uh, as they now become part of Mercer. The staffing will continue the same. Um, I don't know at this moment what the impact will be with respect to fees, um, with respect to access to the, the same services that we've had in the past. Um, what my understanding is that Mercer is going to spend most of this coming year kind of figuring out what they want to do that will be different. Um, the, if the fees remain, then it is probably uh, more effective for us to stay with uh, the, this organizational group, um, at least in the immediate future. Um, although exactly what what level of research we will get, what levels of uh, uh, information we will get is likely to change over this period of time. So uh, all I can say is that we will be meeting with Dan Voss and uh, asking him all of these questions. I have posed them to him in written form and um, we will see what his answers are. Well, <clears throat> the major point of all of this is that sometime between now and February 15th, um, they have sent us documents which we will either sign saying, yes, we will continue with them, or uh, we will not sign, in which case we will need to find somebody else to help us with our investments. Wow, big change. Thank you. Thank you for helping um, navigate this. Sounds a bit complicated, but thank you. Um, do we have a Friends of the Jones Library report? Either Elaine or Lewis? Yeah, so I'm going to bring Elaine into the room. Okay. <laughs> Elaine? Elaine, can you hear me? She's coming. Okay. I'm there, right? Yes. Perfect. Hello. Hi, Elaine. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I'm filling in for Austin. Name, but... okay. That's okay. It says your last name. Yeah. So last thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think Lewis has not been coming. So I said that um, I told our group last at the last meeting that we should perhaps take turns coming to your meeting so that we would get to know you. Um, it occurred to us that we don't know you and you don't know us for the most part. So um, anyway, that was the idea of that. Um, so I said I would I would start this month and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if people are going to want to do that. Um, so uh, our latest um, endeavor has been, um, uh, I don't want to say selling, but sort of selling Edith Byron's paintings. Um, we uh, knew that we needed to um, uh, move them all on before uh, the library uh, needed to be emptied. And so um, this past 10 days or so, we had the remainders set up in the lobby. And um, as of noon today, all but two had sold, oh. Oh, which is good. really amazing. Um, and actually, I, I talked to someone in the CERC, at the CERC desk and asked her to take those two down because I don't think those two are going to sell. Um, so I would declare ourselves finished with that project. And um, I think in total, that will have made uh, at least $8,500. So that was, you know, something that came in that was unexpected and um, it turned into a fun event. And I think um, people enjoyed uh, browsing those paintings and, and buying them. 
or donating for them. So um, anyway, so that was good. Um, presently, we are setting up, um, setting, trying to set up a brainstorming uh, date for March so that uh, we can meet and we were gonna meet with Lee and Kent also um, to just talk about the future of the friends and what we're gonna be doing and what our role is gonna be and just sort of start talking about all that. So that we're trying to decide on a month or on a date in March for that. Um, presently, we have nine members really um, who come to meetings. Um, and so we are looking for more uh, board members. And so we sort of, a few people have feelers out and we're hoping that we can um, get some more people. And um, our, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that second grade reader project, which is something we do every year. If that's gonna continue wherever the children's room moves to, um, I think uh, Marion is talking to Mia about that to see how that's really gonna work and where we're gonna be able to keep supplies for that and things like that. Um, we're going to um, get together a few of us, um, I didn't tell you yet, Sharon, on Wednesday afternoon to start looking at that uh, friend's room on the third floor to see what in the world we're gonna do with the stuff in there. So um, that'll be Wednesday afternoon. And I think that's all I need to say today. Well, thank you, Elaine, for joining us. I have such fond memories of Edith Byron. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. a lot of people did. That's why they were anxious to buy her yeah. paintings. Yeah. Um, well, I also want to say thank you, Elaine, and I think it's a wonderful idea to have you or a rotating group from the Friends, as you say, so we could all get to know each other better. Great. Yeah. That's what we'd like. Me thank too. You. Thank you for joining us. It's wonderful. Sure. Take care. Um, okay, we have Sharon's director's report. Here we go. Um, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't have. I don't have anything else to report on. I'm happy to ask questions. There's all sorts of things going on. Staff are very, very busy uh, making plans. We, we're going to be closed just on the 24th. Uh, so we'll we'll be reopening on the 25th uh, so that staff can uh, look at their spaces and figure out really, you know, do we need to keep this tissue box, uh, you know, for two years? Uh, so... Happy to answer questions. Lots of decisions. Barbara has Anyone a question. Have any? Barbara. Yeah. Sorry, I should have probably asked this. Um, I've asked you so many questions about the move, Sharon. It isn't about that. But um, just when we were talking about buildings and facilities, is there any update on the North Amherst Library? February 5th. I just oh. got confirmation like an hour ago. Um, so it'll be it'll be a soft opening. Um, it won't the, the full building is is not ready yet. Uh, but the library will be able to open on the fifth. Great. And there there will be plans Great. for a spring, you know, grand opening celebration, um, you know, that Paul and the donor will be will be planning. Right. Well, well thank you for asking. Will the bathrooms be available to yes, yeah, patrons? Yes, even though there's no official opening yet. Yeah, there's okay, good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything else not on the agenda? Anything else anyone wants to talk about? We did have a Jedi yeah. meeting last week, um, and we discussed the survey. And we were we had results coming in, but we want to keep the survey going a little bit longer. A lot of the comments so far have been kind of positive, but some of us, like we were kind of, you know, wondering about the outliers things like people wanting more news from italy and sicily or people not happy with our lgbtq plus um not agenda 
saying that we are we are too liberal and close minded. So a little thing. I mean, we were just discussing general stuff like that, but the, we're thinking that we will try to push the survey a little longer, even when the library moves, and then. Um, Maybe even some, I uh, have the Jedi members at the library, like asking people to fill out surveys, but basically we want to have it moving for a few more months and then for us to meet and sort of have a report out to the trustees and to, and then next steps. But it was how a very lively discussion. Sorry, what, Tammy? Farah, how many respondents have you had so far? Uh, it was about 64. Mia did a, like a quick, it doesn't really, um, speak to exactly what people said, but Mia did it. There were about 64 responses so far. And this can be done in the library as well as online. Online in the library, QR codes. So one of the members had, um, the idea just to see, you know, see what would happen if if we continue the survey through the interim locations, because um, they were thinking that people would be checking the website to see, you know, to see what's going on with the library and they might be more likely to respond to the survey. So basically, that's where we are. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, are there any, is there anything else anyone wants to discuss? I know this is a short meeting, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, um, I guess it's time to adjourn. Uh, wow. Do oh, you can rely on me for that. I move to adjourn. <laughs> Second. And okay. Thank you. We are adjourned. Thank take you care, all. everyone. Bye-bye. Keep Stay warm. warm. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.